in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 94 Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Almighty God is the Lord. A great King above all gods. In His hands are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are His. To Him belongs the sea, for He made it. And the dry land, saved by His hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For He is our God and we, the people who belong to His pasture, the flock that is led by His hand. Oh, oh that today you would listen to His voice.
Sing your praise. Awake my soul. Awake lion and heart. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations. I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will thank and divide the land of Sikkim. I will measure out the valley of Sukkot. The heaven is mine and nothing. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Mohan I will use for my worship. On Adam I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in time. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Adam? Will you utterly reject us, O God? And no longer march with our armies. Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall pray bravely, and He will tremble from our foes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as He was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. The Lord the Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decorates himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her dress. For as he had released forth its source, and as a garden causes what he saw, he needed to spring up. So the Lord God knows righteousness and praise to the spring for before all nations. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silence, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her vindication goes forth as brightness. As a burning torch, the nations shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the land of the Lord. In the land of your God, you 
you shall no more be done forsaken, and your land shall no more be done desolate. But you shall be called my delight in her, and your land perish, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, born without an amen. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will praise my God all my days. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men, in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to play, and their plans, the light they come to nothing. He is happy, who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who gives faith forever, who is judge to those who are oppressed, it is He who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who saves prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and affords the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but towards the part of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Science God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as He was in the beginning. It is now and ever shall be, God without an amen. I will praise my God all my days. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for his own possession. Out of all the peoples that are on the face of the earth, it is because the Lord loves you and is keeping the oath which he swore to your fathers that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know, therefore, that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word. It is he who will free me from the stand of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
When you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has set up for us a mighty Savior. In the house of David is silent. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, the Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. God the Father for this time of grace. Let us ask him to cleanse our hearts and strengthen us in the love through the Holy Spirit. Give us God your Holy Spirit. Lord, your word is life. May our lives be nourished and sustained by every word you speak. Give us God your Holy Spirit. In the life of Jesus, you have shown us the way of love. Teach us to follow this way in the great and small events of life. Give us, Lord, your Holy Spirit. Grant us a spirit of self-denial and move us to help our brothers in their need. Give us, Lord, your Holy Spirit. Let us bear witness in our bodies to the death of your Son, for in his body you have brought us to life. Give us, Lord, your Holy Spirit. Following our Lord's teaching, let us say with faith and trust, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Support us, Lord, as with this Lenten fast, we begin our Christian warfare, so that in doing battle against the spirit of evil, we may be armed with the weapon of self-denial. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. 